Yeah, sure. The thesis is pretty simple. That, that basically, the U.S. is often seen as a poster child for a healthcare system which is out of control, with uh, already consuming 20% of GDP going into looking after their population, and that number is forecast to go towards 25% over the next five years. But I think when you look at the, the rest of the world as well, when you add in social care spending and healthcare spending. There's not many governments out there in the developed world in particular who aren't spending almost 30% of their budget in looking after people, not just in the healthcare setting, but outside of that as well, in adjacent areas. And at the same time, the governments have got less and less money to pay for that, and the, or the debt capability of governments to pay for that is less and less. So we've got a high and rising requirement for healthcare spending as we all get older and iller. I guess, for instance, in the US, more than 60% of healthcare spending in the US goes on 30% of the population, which is aged 55 and older. So as, as demographics push in that direction and, and we all live to a, a greater age, then the demand for healthcare services is just going to get greater and greater. So making that healthcare more affordable is going to be a theme which we think will last for decades, not just in the US but across the whole of the world. One of the things we love most about ResMed is the, just the incredible cadence of new products which the businesses come in. They have a very compelling long-term strategy around connected care and the virtuous circle that they saw long before some of their competitors around cloud connected devices. So and the, the fact that allows patients to engage in their own healthcare more more meaningfully. Because there's a great correlation we think and resume have demonstrated in the past between allowing patients to engage in their own healthcare and better outcomes for the patient and better outcome for the patient normally saves money for for the healthcare system. And that thing, that kind of virtuous circle, I think, is pretty pivotal to the way that ResMed runs as a business. and helps to give you a real kind of strategic overpinning for the way they invest behind the business and the product design or the new products which they have brought to the market consistently for the last few years. We think the kind of, the kind of connected care opportunity, which they're playing asleep happily on now, is, is going to be a template which they use in COPD, which is another massive disease for the rest of the world. And some of the investments we're making around healthcare software as a service, I think, are also going to be great places to be for the medium to longer term also.